नमस्कार फिर पैसा बोलता है मैं आपका स्वागत है मैं आनंद श्रीनिवासन आज फिर से मेरे भाई से बात कर रहे हैं तो आज मैं आईपीओ के बारे में बात करना था हम आईपीओ में इन्वेस्टमेंट नहीं करते सिर्फ एक आईपीओ को रेकमेंड किया वो आईपीओ था टाटा टेक्नोलॉजीज का टाटा टेक्नोलॉजीज आईपीओ क्योंकि टाटा इथिकल है पैसे टेबल में छोड़ के हैं इन्वेस्टर को लेने के लिए लेकिन आज आईपीओ मार्केट बहुत गर्म है इतना गर्म हो गया कि सेबी ने ये बोल दिया कि ये प्राइसेस मैनिपुलेट हो रहे हैं अल्टरनेट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड्स ने सारा पैसा इन्वेस्ट करके आईपीओ को ओवर सब्सक्राइब करते हैं और इन्वेस्टमेंट लिस्टिंग पॉप करते हैं लिस्टिंग पॉप का मतलब है जो लिस्टिंग डे गेन्स मिल रहे हैं उसके बाद उसको सीधा गिर जाता है जैसे जोमेटो एल आई पॉलिसी बाजार पेटीएम ये सब ऐसे ही है और इनका सबसे बड़ा केस था एस के एस माइक्रो फाइनेंस जो एंकर इन्वेस्टर हैं वो प्रोटेक्टेड हैं उनका डील होता है तो ये प्रॉब्लम्स हो रहे हैं स्मॉल एंड रिटेल इन्वेस्टर को सेबी ने वार्निंग दे दी है बोल दी है कि अल्टरनेट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड्स आर एक्टिंग एज बिल्स तो बिजनेस स्टैंडर्ड में एक आर्टिकल आया था जिसे वाई नाम का एक बुटीक इन्वेस्टमेंट फर्म ने इन्वेस्टमेंट स्टडी की थी पिछली दस साल और बीस साल का स्टडी है जो आईपीओ आया उसमें परिणाम क्या हुए हैं कितने पॉजिटिव हैं दस साल में कितना पैसा बन रहा है इन्वेस्टर निवेश का क्या हो रहा है इस रिपोर्ट के बारे में बात करने के लिए मेरे साथ मेरे भाई हैं सो वॉट के पार्टनर पब्लिक मार्केट कंडक्टेड Because Indian IPOs are really hot right now, and it's come to conclusion that hundred rupees. Let me just say one thing: hmm. Indian IPOs are so hot hmm. that there are more IPOs being generated than China and Japan combined Correct. together. Yes, and both China and Japan are much bigger markets than us. Much bigger economies also. Yes. So when you see this, they're saying for every hundred rupees, you're only going to get back a decade later seventy rupees. Your net has come down by. Almost minus four percentage points, and the main reason they have, and through the analysis, what they found out is the various parties, including management, private equities, anchor investors, investment bankers, who primarily aim to generate these IPO pops, where they pump it up, they remove everything from it, and leave the lollipop stick for the investor. That's why even SEBI recently has started investigating, like you said, these mules. So all this is showing more and more signs why retail investors should not be looking at IPOs at all. and all of them are in this uh, crazy imagination we'll just put like a lottery if we get an allotment we'll immediately sell it this is like playing a lottery game yes so there's no investment in this anymore it's a literally like uh, trying to see if you can catch a falling knife this is when we invest we study the company we look at the past records we analyze and we understand the price to buy it correct ipo is a lottery The price is decided by the promoter and the investment banker. Normally, not much money is left in the play table for the investors. Let me take two cases. One was the case of SKS Microfinance. Vikram Akula and his wife started that company. It was a hot take, and it was the microfinance company. The company listed at three hundred, boasted Narayan Murthy and other big stars as anchor investors. The stock went to thousand rupees. But Vikram Akula and his wife had poor relations. They had fought with each other. Their martial discord came into public scene, and there was slanging. And finally, the price of the stock came much below the IPO price. But what came across at that time is the anchor investors had a sweetheart deal, and they exited. Correct. And so, who was left holding the can? It was the retail retail investor. The company went almost bankrupt. It was bought over. it was renamed as bharat financial inclusion and that company today is a subsidiary of indus in bank doing very well the company has survived the name of the company is changed the retail investor got lost and the guy suppose you are a shareholder of indus in bank you have made lot of money because you bought it cheap same company different valuations in the ipo retail investors went for it Lost a lot of money. Same company bought the Indus in Bank, doing very well. 
So even if the underlying business is very good, there's a big problem. Next story, Cafe Cafe Day. Brilliant entrepreneur. He not only set up Cafe Cafe Day, he was responsible for setting up Mind Tree. He was also responsible for setting up a broking firm, Way to Wealth. He had a technology part. But he had in good times leveraged a lot of money in debt. And when the market got too tight, he decided to go on IPO for Coffee Coffee Day. He had recklessly expanded Coffee Coffee Day on debt. And he got scared because the Tata's had joined up with Starbucks and they were coming. And uh, although it's an older and well-known brand, has been eaten for breakfast by Starbucks. Tata's have deep pockets and they have plenty of time. They still have only 390 stores as I speak. Coffee Day went for an IPO. The same wealthy guys from Infi, this time it was Mohandas Pai and others, they invested money. They had a buyback arrangement. The stock popped, it went very high. Then it collapsed and uh, he borrowed money in the open market to buy back his shares. The income tax decided to read him. The guy was forced to commit suicide. Very sad story. My own personal story. In 1980s, my father invested. He had a lot of money. So he used to put 1,000 rupees in every IPO. Some IPOs paid off and he was very lucky. In those days, there was the controller of capital issues. So my father would have invested in about 500 stocks. And about 100 stocks did well. But the money he made in that 100 stocks more than compensated the, For the losses, losses yes. he made. In those days, everybody got allotment. The prices was fixed. The companies were frauds. There is a old video of Jaspal Bhatti, a guy who's making Pani Puri on YouTube. on YouTube. I asked them to put the link here. This is how it was done. 200 companies were dead or 400 companies were dead of the invested, but he also got Dr. Reddy and Infosys. So what I'm trying to say is, those days at least you had a better chance. Well, you understand. He got a lens. So he had a better chance. And he knew nothing about the market. At that time, nobody in India knew nothing about the market. We are talking of before Harshad Mehta. Yes. Right? Nobody had heard of Warren Buffett here. So, and from there, it be a mood on. So, unless you know the promoter, unless you know the business, unless you know the balance sheet, and it is in your circle of competence, don't go anywhere near an IPO. Now, the big flavor of the town used to be fintechs. Mm -hmm. A lot of venture capitalists poured a lot of money into fintechs. Now, what has happened? They are licking their wounds. Why? Because the RBI has cracked down on fintechs. Correct. Fintechs are not getting license. Correct. There is regulatory oversight. Yes. And finally, American interest rates have gone up. BC is going to have a lot of money. There is no. No, exam. they have better places to put their money. No, they don't have. <laughs> and uh, so the, nobody is doing any. Yeah. Investing. Yes. And those who have invested cannot exit. They're trying to get, get out. Right. Paytm, after it's gone public and burned thousands of crores, still does not know what is its business model. So this is the problem. Stay away from IPOs. This is my advice. Unless you get something like data technologies. Correct. If you have this podcast, I am very happy to hear you. So if you like this video, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification. हो सके तो इस वीडियो को अपने दोस्त और रिश्तेदार के पास भेजें और उनको देखने की आग्रह करें नमस्कार धन्यवाद जय हिंद नमस्कार मैं आनंद श्रीनिवासन ट्रिवेंड्रम के इवेंट के पास किधर इवेंट होस्ट करेंगे इसके बारे में बहुत चर्चा हुआ मेरे टीम ने डिसाइड किया कि इवेंट अगला इवेंट दुबई में किया जाए तो एमिरेट्स यूनाइटेड अरब एमिरेट्स में जो रहते हैं और मुझे मिलने के इच्छुक हैं वो दुबई में 24 फरवरी आके मुझे मिल सकते हैं तो अगला इवेंट मेरा दुबई के दुबई सिटी में 24 फरवरी 3:30 से 5:00 बजे होगा जो जो मुझे मिलने के लिए इच्छुक हैं वो वो इवेंट में आ सकते हैं डिटेल्स के लिए नीचे दिए गए व्हाट्सएप नंबर में संपर्क करें या जो ईमेल आपको दिया गया नीचे उसमें मेल लिखें मेरा टीम आपसे संपर्क करेगा नमस्कार धन्यवाद जय हिंद